Okay, part B, the module on commerce and e-commerce in deep learning applications, AI first engineering, all the good things. Yummy yum. All right, AI in retail. And it's um, got several uh, applications at the sort of consumer level. It's personalization. We know that's important from all the internet uh, interaction sites. Search, so you can find out what you want. And perhaps not so obvious, but possibly even more important, chatbots, which are changing how people find out information. And um, sort of in the back end, we have logistics, warehouse stocking. Amazon has a very big AI group working on logistics. Uh, robotics, well, Amazon has a pretty impressive robotics activity in its warehouses. And of course, AI in payment. Uh, it also has lots of ap applications. And it appears that brands that um, use personalization see a 6 to 10% um, revenue increase. And it happens faster than those that don't use personalization. And although 7% to um, of all e-commerce sites come from a recommendation. Those are very valuable clicks because 24% um, of the revenue comes from those 7% clips. Clicks. Here are some charts um, saying um, what happens to uh, what shoppers make return visits to a site. 19% um, didn't click on a recommendation during the first visit. 37% did. That's a curious statistic. And um, here is the amount of money in millions, is uh, which totals five billion uh, in uh, 2022. Is the uh, revenue for companies providing AI. So this is the amount of money the AI companies are going to get for providing these services. Pretty big. Um, so, if you have a, a site with a lousy search, which is actually not so, not often, quite often true, 72% um, of shoppers will abandon that site. Natural language processing is certainly very important because you want to map items to readily understood words and phrases. That's true both in the voice and the text uh, implementations. Now, computer vision has got lots of interesting applications. We'll see one later on in shopping carts, but um, they can uh, track waiting times in lines and automatic restocking and things like that. Um, Self checkout by just seeing what people pick off stores, shelves. And um, the Number of digital photos taken on mobile devices is enormous. And this is, I mean, you know, the whole world of photography, if I look at the photos I took you know, 30 years ago, they're beautiful, in my opinion, very high quality. Not, uh, and the photos we take now are not as high quality. But um, there are sure a lot of them, and there were a tiny number effectively before. Here is a Pinterest uh, lens, Pinterest lens, and that's a visual search tool which has 600 million searches a month. This is in February of 18, and that's over a factor of two from February of 17. And um, so, visual search is pretty important. Uh, here's some more about chatbots. Uh, they obviously can make uh, the customer experience much better, and uh, 80% of customers say they try to resolve an issue online before actually having this uh, terrible message that you're waiting for six hours on the phone. And 54% of consumers stop doing business due to bad customer service. And actually, millennials are even less tolerant. That's 61% stop uh, doing business. And of course, chatbots are always there and can typically respond immediately unless there's an actual server problem, which 
for a modern cloud elastic implementation, that should never happen. Um, and so here is uh, top reasons consumers will stop using a, a product, and this is done for generation Y, ages 23 to 37, generation Z, 16 to 22. And um, here we have poorly designed mobile features. Always these things are phrased, so generation Z is the highest. Poor features in social media. Customer service only available by phone or in person. Actually, that's not so uh, such a large number. Um, if we uh, people who stop doing business, uh, this is this 61% number up here, 54% number up here, and that's uh, these numbers have increased from 2016 to 2017. The 61 was 53% in 2016. All right, what's it take to do this? Well, the trouble is it takes expertise. And uh, of course, although universities treat people AI, they don't actually teach typically chatbots or visual search or, or all the things the, um, actually they need. So it's not so obvious that we have such a wonderful design. Because the trouble, the reason of course that that is the professors like me in universities are not expert on these consumer problems. Because they've actually exploded very recently in outside universities. So it, here is the biggest challenge to implement AI, lack of skills and talent. talent. Although these other ones are pretty high, security and data privacy, 63%. Job safety, we're taking jobs away, 61%. Resistance to change, 657. Belief that humans are better than AI, 57. That's pretty high. Um, so we need, uh, well, it says, of course, NLP is a, actually a branch of machine learning. But um, so they're probably talking about um, more general um, deep learning and information retrieval and things like that. Here's this uh, image processing one hour I mentioned ahead of time. And um, so it's an AI powered shopping cart. And it's um, deployed in a, a large grocery chain, which I haven't heard of, Sobeys. And uh, these smart carts enable shoppers to completely skip checkout lines. And they may be, they're meant to be fun. And this is part of, this is deployed in Canada. And uh, there are other competitors which actually are not built into the cart, but built in globally. And uh, it should, uh, um, the claim is that this cart approach is better. Here is a slight aside about different types of stores. Here we have a typical super center. Here we have a traditional Whole Foods, and here we have a, a 365 Whole Foods market, and here we have an Amazon Go, pretty small. So there's a trend to highly focused small stores without any um, uh, any assistance. Now we have a couple of slides on AI and Walmart, and um, Actually, here's some interesting statistics. They have 1,500 data science with 67 openings, and they have 43 software development vacancies and 90 data analytics jobs. These are in this particular uh, October 2019 article. And there are three core questions given on the next slide, and which basically say, is it useful and easy to do? And uh, they, like Amazon, have warehouses run by robots called Alphabots. And of course, they're much faster for obvious reasons. As long as Alphabots will work, as long as you store the material in a very uh, systematic fashion. And um, they have 30 robots, 4,500 products. And of course, they're not so good at uh, picking fresh produce. But uh, they can do books and things like that. 
Here are the three. No, last but one slide. AI and Walmart. What are these magic questions? Why are you doing it? And who will pay for it? Because obviously Walmart is run by the people who sell things. And you have to explain to the people who sell things why this uh, AI will actually help sell things. And you're not allowed to, of course, say it's fun. It uses, it uses prize winning Turing Award technology or stuff like that. That's irrelevant. Does it? Is it a nifty new chatbot that will uh, satisfy the uh, millennials or not? Can you explain it? That you're able to articulate what it does and why it's good. Can you implement it? Is it a cost effective, realistic implementation? And do you have a proper management plan? All right, last slide about voice. And it's sort of slightly strange um, slide this because it's sort of counterintuitive. Uh, the use of voice assisted devices is um, actually going down. Here's 2020, but it can't be very much of 2020. And the blue is 2019. And there's a significant reduction of voice assisted devices. Even though 42% of US households have a smart speaker. And of course, you have voice. Now it's much easier to use voice in cars. There's all the built in. And we have all the, well, we have smart speakers and other devices. Um, so here is why is that happening? I can't believe people care about security. Lack of images is certainly very important. In general, if you're going to buy something, you better be really sure it's what you want. So you better have a really solid display and lots of information. Difficulty researching, difficulty comparing. I think these three reasons are very solid. I can't believe <coughs> the general population cares so much about security. OK, end of these uh, little vignettes on AI and the retail experience. Thank you.